For over 25 years, Brian Olson of Fort Capel, Saskatchewan has been running his company called Power Pin Incorporated. Before that, he was a farmer with a knack for useful inventions, including a quick hitch system for tractors. This eventually became known as Power Pin and led to the creation of the business. Developed into a hitching system, and I think the Prairie Farm Report did a story on it like 25 years ago when we started. We won an award in 1988 at the farm show, and then we've been building hitches ever since then. Eventually, Olson and the folks at Power Pin got thinking with all the success they had creating a safe and efficient hitching system for farm tractors, why not do the same for trucks? So we developed a hit and hitch pintle, which is basically an automatic pintle. When you back up to it, once it hits the back, it's locked onto it. It can't get away. So when you let the jack down, it falls down and you put the safety clip in and you lock it on. So as soon as you hit it, it's an automatic hookup. To release it, you take the safety clip up, you put that, you drive away, and it's ready for the next hookup. So it's about as simple as you can get, but the biggest thing is it's an automatic hitch up. You don't have to worry about when you're going down the road, did I clip it down? Because as soon as it's in there, it's hooked up. You can't get away from it. Since they were already deeply involved in working with the agricultural industry, Olson told us they noticed a need for a better hitching system for trucks pulling in hydrous ammonia trailers down public highways. In doing that work, they came up with a clevis ring hitch that they could adapt and use behind a truck. But then we started looking at the pintles that they that was on on road and we thought you know we can likely do something a little bit better we wanted to make a pintle that worked just like our drop pin where you back up to it and you hit it then you're hooked and you can't get away from it so we started working on that it took us 18 months to get something that we think is a winner it doesn't corrode up and once you hit it you're hooked to it and you can't get away from it so it's a lot safer than any pintles that are out there now that depend on the operator to get out to click it down to lock it on the trailer side, Power Pin put together their own hitching system, including designing a trailer ring, which is easy to work with. We wanted to make a hitching system where we put the ring on the, on the trailer side of it, where we offset it so you can get more adjustment. But then the other unique thing is we wanted to have, so that you could lock this up, put a padlock on it, and when you wanted to unlock it, you swing it to the side, and that way that trailer can't be easily stolen. Olson says in designing the new hit and hitch system, they were able to take advantage of their quarter century of experience with agricultural equipment hitching. When we make our ag hitches, we make a clevis ring hitch, mainly for, for uh, anhydrous ammonia applications, so that they can have a clevis or they can have a ring, and this ring, this ring works on our, on our pintle. So it's not just for pulling, you know, trailer related construction. We can actually pull small farm equipment down the roads now too. Dealers can. Powerpin produces over 200,000 drawbar hitching components per year for the agricultural industry. This gave them a good idea what materials would work best for the hit and hitch project. So over the years we've learned what kind of metals and metallurgy we need to have a real functional implement hitch. So on our implement hitches we use nodular iron 805506 but then we os tempered it once we get into the bigger sizes and with os tempering we can double the strength of it. So compared to what we're doing pulling 600 horsepower tractors, this is a walk in a park for us because obviously everything is rolling and we don't get the, the loads. Olson realized the importance of making sure this hitching system is effective year round and that point was emphasized by a visit with a neighbor involved in the trucking industry. And he said in the winter time, their pintles, they freeze up, they seize up, they get full of, uh, they get full of salt, they don't work. And uh, that was one of the reasons we started all this, is he said, you've got to get a better pintle. And you talk to Department of Highway guys, anybody, they say in the winter time, those pintles are almost impossible because they freeze up and fill up with crud. And ours doesn't. It's so simple. It, you know, it's in the closed position all the time, so there's no place for dirt or mud or, or crud to get into it to lock it up. Even though this system is designed to help a variety of different industries, Olson figures the biggest benefit is the same for everyone and that you only need to make one trip to hook up your trailer to your truck. But one safe trip. You don't want to be back there pushing stuff around trying to get it to, to hook up. Once you're hooked to it, 
it's safe to be between that truck and that trailer, just like our drop pin hammer strap. But once you're there, you can hook up your lights and all that kind of stuff. But you need to get off just once, not just to hook up your safety chains and lights and stuff, but to walk around whatever you're hooking up to, a trailer, a piece of farm equipment, you want to walk around that to make sure that that's safe to go out on a public road. So that's our philosophy, is one trip, but one safe trip. Olson says they plan to have the hit and hitch system available to load limits of 7, 12, 25 and 50 tons. At the time of our visit, a 7-ton unit was selling for $129. He estimates the ring portion of the hitch will sell for around $33.